make a run for the bikes when you have to pay. He's crying! He's crying! We just finished up breakfast. It was really nice. It was a treat. It was great. It Best breakfast ever. <laughs> Guys, it is now, uh, it is now what, 6 o'clock in the morning? 6 a.m.? 6.30? And it feels like four o'clock for me. <laughs> I'm so ill prepared for this ride. <laughs> it's cold. My heated gear is brand new. I took the tags off today. I don't even know where to plug it in. I was tiptoeing around I, I'll the house. I'll tell you where to plug it in. Yeah, be quiet. <laughs> I was tiptoeing around the house, every pitch dark. Who wakes up four, four o'clock in the morning for a ride? You guys are crazy Military. anyway. I didn't even know where to plug this thing. Uh, we're at, uh, met up the whole group. I'll show you very soon outside. My first coffee, my first coffee right now. Ten years, 12 years in the military, the guy can't wake up, go figure. 18 years. Fight, fighter jet pilot. <laughs> can't even get up. So I'm um, defrosting with my uh, coffee ride to uh, Hope Town or New Hope. It's on the Delaware, beautiful scenery. Gonna take some footage over there and have some fun. I got things prepared last night, but it wasn't, uh, I still didn't, don't estimate properly the time that it takes. My visor, I have a tinted visor and it's still pitch, pitch black, it's dark outside, so can't really see anything. I go with the visor slightly up and I try to look like that, anyway. Look at it. Look at everybody getting all prepared. Oh, I had the camera on. Okay, guys, this is the first time I'm turning on the camera. I've been struggling. Struggling this morning. Uh, first off, my daughter had like a sleepover with four girls in the basement making noise till 3.30 in the morning. And I woke up five o'clock. Five o'clock in a cold morning, dark. I was tiptoeing around the house, trying to find my gear. I prepared all my gear uh, last night before the ride. I was grabbing everything in the dark. I made it a little bit late to meet up with John, only to find out that um, all my uh, cabling, the wires for my heated gear, I left at the house, so I didn't even know how to connect it up. Met up with John and uh, rode uh, to the uh, first meeting point, because we're gonna meet a few people along the, along the road. So my hands were freezing, my jacket, wasn't uh, working because I didn't know how to connect it. It's pretty much brand new. So John showed me. Apparently, I blew a fuse. I only figured that out half an hour in when I wasn't, uh, it wasn't heating. Switched uh, the fuse. And just to find out that uh, like 10 minutes ago, I figured out, I found out that I uh, didn't tighten properly the, the bolt that holds the seat. So that fell off. Then my Bluetooth system uh, that his knocks that uh, whatever comm system, the cheap comm system that John gave me uh, as a gift isn't working properly. <laughs> it's when my head is tilted and I'm uh, looking to the left and right, the little button on the side of the, the comm system is touching my jacket and it switches uh, to different functions radio bluetooth on off and it's to boot it's talking to me in, in french and i have no clue what it's saying so that's useless i just disconnected it from the the cable and just threw it in my bag and i was gonna on the highway gonna work with the highway pegs and look what happened so a lot of uh a lot of things not working out, which uh, is telling me that this is the day to watch out and be careful. So from here on, smooth 
clean, uh, smooth sailing, knock on wood, and uh, we're on our way to cross, uh, cross the Delaware on a bridge, and then uh, start the ride, uh, you know, the interesting part of the ride, because up till now it was pretty much highway. There's a nice uh, group of people, I think we're like 10 bikes out. Most of them are Harleys and there's like three adventure bikes. I would say the three weak links of this ride on adventure bikes. There's a Delaware uh, on the left. We're literally riding on the banks of the Delaware. Very pretty. Lambertville. Entering Lambertville. There's fire, fireplace burning somewhere over here. I love that smell. Nice little town. I think we're gonna stop to eat over here. Is, but we're at the place. So here are the things that happened. This, okay. This. And the Bluetooth thing that's not working. So we're at Lambertville. Uh, just before, on the New Jersey side, we're gonna cross the bridge very soon. We're stopping here for breakfast. Let me show you the bikes that are uh, this nice CVO, Nadal CVO, beautiful uh, Electro Glide standard uh, by Holy Shift, Mr. Holy Shift. The Triumph Tiger 900, Nadal's new uh, ADV. Mr. Holy Shift. And uh, the there you go, Mr. Uh, Fly and Ride 15. Fly and Ride 15, yes. 15, there you go. Thank you. Check him out. Do you Fly and Ride? I fly and ride, but not 15. <laughs> and uh, beautiful. And motor visuals, Hudson motor visuals. By Dave over here. Check that. Take check his channel out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good morning. I'm walking like in the middle of the road. Like I own the road. Uh, look at this beautiful street glide. And another beautiful road glide with the T-bars over here by Dave. These are uh, the weak links that are switching over to ADVs. Mr. Cycle Fanatics over here on his uh, feminine bike. <laughs> and another beautiful ADV, Glenn's ADV. And Steve's amazing blacked out street glide. Special. Eddie, where's your ride, Eddie? Not over here. Oh, I, it's the one I saw over there. Okay. I saw, I've seen it and beautiful CVO over here. Uh, and, uh, uh, beautiful. This is Flying Rides CVO. Sand Dune, Sand Dune, I think he called it, right? Yeah. That's it. Let's go grab something to eat. 
They call it Mediterranean uh, breakfast. Uh, I guess the parsley makes it Mediterranean. The parsley. <laughs> what do you like, a vice president or CEO? And this is what Mr. Cycle, Cycle Fanatics is having. I want to show you that. What do you got there? What do you got going there? I got a little Craftsman egg white. Oh, sorry about I think it landed right on your camera. <laughs> A little turkey sausage. What do you got, Mediterranean? I did. I got Mediterranean because there's a little bit of parsley, so it's Mediterranean. <laughs> oh. Pork roll, American cheese, some whole fries. Little English muffin. Oh, thank you. Oh, and Glenn nice. got the real deal. I need mine. What do you got there? Oh, John's yeah. already Eggs done. over easy. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the whole thing choked down. And he's like, I'm ready to go. Let's, let's dig in. Oh, look at this car. Guys, I got a real uh, proposition over here. It's really cold. Uh -huh. Is it okay if we start eating uh, while yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. John, only again. John is the, the only rude, rude guy that just start, started eating without even asking anyone. So, delicious. <laughs> delicious. Sound like <laughs> okay, let's dig in. All right. Still finish it. Oh, I was just bad mouthing it. There's listen. The spinach, we got our food, put spinach and parsley, and I got We're some. Tomato back, inside, that's what makes it Mediterranean. Oh, you? Yeah. Uh, I was, well, I was, I was George saying, looking his wife said the same thing. It is good. She so said, like, don't worry, yeah. don't worry, the doll will be finished before we even eat the first bite. This is very good. And to all my Jewish friends, this is turkey bacon. Oh, this guy, Mr. Flying Right Show Me. Flying ride just invited, <laughs> just treated, the the treated the whole really table. Want? What do you really want? Had I known that, Absolutely I would have gotten not. two this or three really right dishes. Right here. right here. Very nice. Very right. cool of you, man. All Thank right. you so much. Now we can't break your chops about the I should have known in advance. Look, look, I, I ordered. You should order here. I've ordered a double. He ordered two. Of course. Sandy was going to make a run for the bike, so he had to pay. He's crying. He's crying, Sandy. He's like, I would have ordered. I would have ordered two. Exactly. Exactly. He said because he sat at the head of the table. You guys, you guys have been great to me. You guys are welcoming in, and that's the least I can do. Yeah, that's, that was really good. Yeah, that's that was really good. Dude, this is this is my best breakfast ever. <laughs> Eddie got pancakes coming. You got pancakes? I want some pancakes. Apparently, it's because he sat in the head of the table. So he treated us all. So now I know where not to sit next time. So we just finished up we just finished up breakfast it was really nice it was a treat it was great it tasted good company was amazing weather was uh, dry a bit a bit chilly but it was absolutely nice now we split up to two groups uh, the group that's going southbound and uh, they live in South Jersey actually in Monmouth County and us uh, Bergen, Bergen people, I would say North Jersey people, heading back north, back home.
So that's it guys, the ride is over. We're almost home. Uh, the ride here was highways, mainly highways. It was a great time out. Friendship, the guys, riding, breakfast, great time out. Weather was okay and the ride itself, I'd say it, in my eyes, it was four out of 10. I'm not crazy about long highway rides. Personally, I prefer nice, short, twisty country roads. I was hoping we would get to the Delaware to ride along the banks of the Delaware. That's not where we ended up. Uh, but again, it was a great time out. Hope you enjoyed this video. You're watching Holy Shift and I'm Sandy. Guys, until the next video, peace out.